am really feeling the bearded vibe. I love yeah. a beard on a man. Beard is new for me. It is? Yeah, new and beard. Is it for work or for life? I like... grew it for work, but now it's for life because it's, it serves two purposes. It hides the... I'm losing a lot of the elasticity in my jaw. Oh. And also, it's like having a pet on your face. It's... <laughs> You just come never you alone. Yes. I'm never alone. What do your kids think of your beard? Uh, they're amused and bemused by everything I do. <laughs> you know, they, they don't care. They just think I'm old. That mine too. It's super fun when you work hard. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you play a cool dad and indebted. Yeah, very laid back. Are, but tell us about the show for people that don't know. I mean, the show is uh, basically the the line is uh, baby boomers who go bust and they got to move in with their kids. Mm -hmm. And so Fran Drescher and I play. Amazingly good looking grandparents. <laughs> and, uh, yes, you do. Don't applaud. <laughs> and, uh, um, and we, uh, through years of crazy spending and bad investments, we move in with our kids. And uh, I'm having a great time because my character's like a little bit of a Lebowski type. You know, he I likes, love that. He likes his special chocolates, you yes. know, and he's, uh, and he's fa really crazy in love oh with her. Gosh. And so he's relaxing, but the parents have to parent the parents. Do yeah, you know yes, That's that it. does happen in life. Yeah. But here's my question: They're yeah. rebooting everything. Yeah. Why not reboot Wings? Because no. I loved Wings. I mean, literally, they're rebooting everything. Yeah. Uh, you know, I do it. Uh, most everybody got became gainfully employed after Wings, yeah. and uh, you know, Tim Daly was the handsomest man in North America. <laughs> uh, still. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Tony Shalhoub, Amy Yazbek, Krista Bernard, David Tram, Tom Hayden Church. You know, it was a great cast, great show, great and chemistry. We, uh, great chemistry, and we had so much fun. But uh, uh, I'm finally back, like on a great uh, sitcom. So and you like the chemistry of this one too, yeah? They're great. Well, I've known Fran for a long time, yeah. So it's fun to work with her. We're both. I've known her since the nanny. So, well, yeah. <laughs> and, oh, okay. And then I found out like the nanny is a global event. Okay, and we went to these uh, TV kind of uh, Comic -Con sales. Kind of it, was, oh. it was like a Sony thing, right? Oh, okay. And so there were there were uh, TV affiliates from all over the world. Zoom, they saw her. People from Tokyo, people yes. from the Middle East, people, and it was Mr. great. Mr. Shapell, yes, yes, yes. I watched it <laughs> Apparently religiously. You did. Yeah, yes. did. Yeah, that's an uncanny. Wings as well. I'm just Wings. saying. Thanks, thanks. Yes, this is crazy. You've been in more than 150 shows and movies. Do wow, you... that's crazy. That's <laughs> what so a cool. career. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember your first performance? It doesn't have to be professional, just first performance. My first performance? Yes. Uh, okay, all right. So, uh, huh. uh, I was in the third grade, and I think, yes, and we adapted the book Where the Wild Things Are, you know, Maurice yeah. Sendak, yes. Max Ghost of the Art. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I managed to land the supporting role of the dragon, who can be seen on, like, page three <laughs> as Max Ghost, <laughs> and that was it. And so, uh, I wasn't the lead, so I, I guess I felt compelled to uh, start ad-libbing. You felt competitive. Profusely, I felt competitive. I just felt this uh, not as intense as the connection I feel with this audience, this beautiful audience. <laughs> Good answer. Good right. answer. So, yeah. and, uh, and I started ad-libbing as the dragon, and people started laughing, and it was like a shot, and that was the end, or the beginning. Oh, you, know? you liked it? You were like, that's cool. That I was it. That was yeah. it. And, I, you know, and at some point when the people didn't respond to a particular scene, I said, cut. You know, I was like seven, and I was getting laughs, and, and I was... That's amazing. On my way to know to, that uh, early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, what a blessing. Well, one of your first acting jobs was actually dubbing cartoons? Uh, not dubbing cartoons, but uh, dubbing foreign films. I mean, uh, uh, when I was growing up on TV, they would have these kind of, uh, you know, gladiator films or like um, speed racer cartoons, right? Yeah. Speed racer. And, uh, and so I got a job dubbing voices in foreign films. And if you don't know what dubbing is, it's, uh, it, it, and we do it in American TV and, mo and movies too. If the sound is bad, you gotta go into a studio yeah. and then redo the sentence. Like for instance, okay, well, let's, let's do it now. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so. Oh, it, I let, like it, it's a game. Say, okay. I'm in, yes. <laughs> okay, so. That's well, my energy. So excited, yeah. yeah it's, it's contagious. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now, uh, <laughs> now, now just say this line. Say the line, uh, Melvin, I have to devein the shrimp. Just say it. Melvin, I have to devein the shrimp. Right, okay. Now, I heard a sound, so we have to take that out. You have to... Move I've got my to, mouth. Yeah, but it's in another language, so I have to find a line to fit the same kind of mouth flaps, okay? <laughs> but I have to put in a line that's germane to whatever film I'm 
I'm trying to. So, like, if I'm going to mouth that. Say Melvin. What do you, what'd you have to say? Melvin, I have to devane the shrimp. Okay, so now don't do any voice now. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. There's a monster I in. Can't, I can't. <laughs> Listen. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't ready for the voice. You're a terrible beeper. <laughs> I wasn't ready for the voice change. Yeah, that's it. That I'm just about to approximate your character no. and your whole, you know, your that, whole. That's yeah. amazingly hard. Let's do it again. I can't look at you. Okay. Uh, don't look at me. I, Mel Melvin, I found I have a nickel to for every time I've heard that, right? All right, all right now listen, I'm going to count down. Okay. Ready? Okay. Beep, beep, beep. There's a monster in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> See? So that's it. So randomly enough, That's right. randomly enough, I walked in and watched my daughter. She's five, right. and I let her just like pick something on Netflix, you know, whatever. I was mm -hmm. doing something, and, and she, all of a sudden, I, I'm like, why are they speaking Spanish? Yeah. She watches things that are from Spanish, but they'll try and do them in English. Like right. half the episode is English. So they do that a lot still. Yes. I yes. Mean, part of the problem is that you know, in in different languages, there's different cadences and yeah. different rhythms. Rhythm. So that's why if you watch a lot of old movies, you'll hear people talking like this over there. Because they're oh trying to God. fit in dialogue into foreign mouth flapping. Oh my God, that's hard. And hard not to laugh, obviously. It's hard not to laugh. Mm -hmm. you, you need practice. I know, I know. You know what? I should just steer clear. Forget it. I feel like I should forget it. You're doing too much already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so wait, you, you developed another vocal skill. What is it? It's, I, I can do a cricket. A cricket? What did you wear in Pinocchio or something? Like, how did you develop a cricket sound? Well, I just uh, because there was a guy on Wings, one of the um, one of the the techs, one of the grips named um, uh, Mundo, and he used to very kind of secretly throw in a cricket sound, and it would drive the sound people insane. It just kind of, <gasps> I it love would stop him. And he got a, okay, so I have to just wet my whistle. Uh, wet my whistle. <laughs> That is impressive. Is it? <laughs> That's impressive. You need to calm down. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.